Hello everybody, Bill Moore here. Today we're going to continue looking for low risk trades in the sector ETF baskets that, that we've created. We've got 11 baskets. We've already run the analysis and I thought I saw something good earlier, but I'm not sure where I put it. So we're going to take a look, see if we can uh, track it down. I remember one end of it was PNC Financial. So let's see what we can find here. Okay, we'll turn this off and filter. Here it is. It's PNC Morgan Stanley. It's got some it's got some good statistics. It's got one that's not quite as strong. It's not it, it doesn't have quite as much expectation value on it that I normally like to look for, but it had a, a nice look. So let's take a let's take a glance at it here. Okay. So some time ago in it's off of our chart here. Obviously it had some higher numbers up here that caused these lines to come in, but for the past, well, two and a half years anyway, it's got a very, very nice looking picture here. This is this is exactly the kind of picture we're looking for when we're talking about doing relative value trades. Um, it's got a very good RW coefficient, good correlation. And then our quick and dirty back test, which simply checks how often when it goes outside the second standard deviation, it returns to the mean and is profitable is six for six. That's, that's perfect in fact, right? So it isn't quite out to the second standard deviation right now, but let's go ahead and take a, a closer look in the observe page. I've added it, here it is. So the only thing about this, it, it has had quite a number of gaps, but once again, um, it's still, th those gaps still didn't seem to affect it from returning to the mean profitably. So I'm not concerned with those gaps. The most recent set of gaps was a couple of months ago. So here we are sitting right up here. The trend is still up and obviously this is going to be a short. So probably I'm going to suggest you keep an eye on it and watch for your good opportunity to get into it. But it looks like a very nice, a very nice picture. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at hitting probabilities. Here we go. So as you know, we take a look here first. We make sure that we've got a good slope down, which in indicates that we have created mean reversion nicely with our synthetic symbol. And then we're going to run the ornstein uhlenbeck model. So let's run the simulation. And when we do, we have uh, excellent numbers, which we knew we would from that picture. This is saying that in 30 days that, you know, 97.7% of the time we're going to be below this 9.51 number, which is the, the current latest value. And half of the time we're going to get back, they're, they're saying a target price of three, okay, from 9.5. And half the time we're going to be there sometime within the next 17 days. So those are very good numbers. Everything, everything looks good here. We're going to make this the recommendation. The only thing I, you know, am going to suggest, oops, wrong page. The only thing I'm going to suggest is that you do keep an eye on it and see if this thing continues up, wait a little while, you know, try to, try to get a better price uh, than it is right now. But if it starts to turn around, jump on in because this has got a great track record. So this is the recommendation of the day. PNC minus 2.84 of Morgan Stanley of MS. It is a short. So for every share of PNC that you sell, you're going to buy 2.85 shares of Morgan Stanley. Good luck with your trading.